Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name is Cougar and of course we've got my buddy Banjo over here and of course that means this is a Kiwi's Tinker Crate. Uh, obviously we've got another box in today as you can see right here. Just the standard size box like they always send on this one. If you can go ahead and read that there, it is going to be a water fountain. Uh, so uh, Banjo has some ideas on uh, what it's going to be and how it's going to be done. So let's go ahead, tear it open, and uh, find out what's inside. All right, everybody. Well, here we go. We've got a handful of products here, a few bags of goodies and stuff, a little, looks like a trough and some stuff like that. So uh, let's go ahead and we'll do kind of the first thing that we usually do here, which is the Tinkerzine. As you can see on the front, uh, there is a little bit of water pouring down that's going into these cups, and uh, that's kind of a water wheel type effect right there. Uh, then again, we're talking about the water wheel, and you got one right there, and of course, power by water. So uh, definitely used in a lot of different applications. I know they used to use it with grinding, uh, grinding food and things like that to make uh, to make bread when they grind up the uh, the grains and everything. And uh, there it shows how how water kind of filters through the ground and stuff. And then we've got a handful of other things, plumbing and uh, different things like that. So uh, lots of interesting information in here. Obviously, uh, at the back there, there's also some additional things that you can try out uh, using water and uh, maybe some of the uh, pieces that are in this. Uh, now, obviously, I mentioned we do have some hosing here, just some, some basic plastic, clear plastic tube that looks like uh, they're about a foot long, roughly, something like that, right around 30 centimeters. Uh, and then, of course, we do have this uh, blue trough, um, kind of has a, a design shape here. We've got these little side things, so I'm sure those are going to be used to uh, maybe hold something up or guide something somehow. Uh, and I'm sure that's also going to be where some of the water is going to be laying. All right, well, what else do we got here, Banjo? We have some plastic pieces that you would pop out or something like that. And and some other pieces of like cardboard. Is that what they are? Are they cardboard? They're not yeah. stickies, are they? No. I thought they were going to be stickies. Yeah. Okay. They they look kind of like mechanical pieces. Yeah. And then these clear pieces are just like rectangles with a little notch out of them. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Well, we'll see what they are. Then in here there's a syringe and some foam pieces, a connector for the hose, some zip ties, a dowel, and then a big foam piece on the back. And then some more dowels, bigger and longer. And then just some foam pieces. Oh, is that all? They, I thought those yeah. were wood. They're foam with... Um, oh, it's like, like a pattern paper. on them. Yeah. Oh, okay. kind of gives it that faux wood feeling a little bit. Oh, okay. Cool. And then all two right. plastic cups. Two plastic ones. Yeah. Oh, no. Did this... Now, when we got these, these were uh, a little smushed. And I don't think... Now... No, they're not actually broken. They they look. I thought they might have cracked or something like that. But uh, uh, yeah, they somehow probably in the mail or whatever they got smushed a little bit. Of course, you can always substitute with a regular glass or something like that if if uh, something like that happens. I mean, these are pretty pretty easy to replace. So uh, let's uh, go ahead in. Uh, obviously, we now have our blueprint here or our instructions. You've got tons of information. Here's all the individual pieces shown here. Uh, you have oh, some. That's a little guy, those pieces. Oh, oh, it's a little person. Oh, okay. Well, you just figured out what the little, uh, like, orange and white or red and white pieces there are for. Uh, so kind of, that's that's pretty neat looking. Uh, and uh, it does look like we're going to be using maybe our, uh, our Tinker Crate box. Uh, so we'll pull that back out when we need it. And then, uh, you know, you have a basic drawing of it and everything. Uh, now we've got some instructions here. But then, of course, we have the main instructions right here. All right, everybody. Well, we've got everything built up. Uh, as you can see, it does end up using the box here. We've got our cup of water. We put some coloring in it so you can kind of see it maybe going through the tubes and everything. Um, now, there's lots of different components to this. Uh, so it, it does take a little bit to get it to work and, and get it lined up and everything. Uh, so you may have to uh, play with it. This will be our first attempt, and uh, we'll see how it works. Uh, one thing I do want to note is these hoses, uh, as they connect together, there's a piece up here, and then connecting it to the syringe down here. Uh, they're very difficult to put on there. 
So uh, there's a couple ideas I had to do that. Um, one is you can always take and put maybe a couple little drops of soap on the ends of the hoses there so that they slide on uh, a little easier. The other thing is to have some uh, some hot water like uh, like you would have for hot tea or something like that when you're first making it. Uh, and you can leave the ends of the hose in there and that will soften the hose up just a little bit. Uh, I would definitely suggest using the soap first and one way or the other I definitely suggest uh, you know maybe having definitely having an adult around to to kind of help especially if you end up using the hot water method because uh, we don't need anybody getting burns or anything like that but uh, so now what we do is we've got the syringe full of uh, water here here go ahead and take that banjo and then there's the little this is actually a T so we want to block it off from the bottom and go ahead and push it all the way in until it goes all the way to the other one. There. No bubbles? Nope. No bubbles. Okay, perfect. Now, don't... Well, yeah, you can pull... So. You can pull out... Yeah, you can pull out some of the bubbles if you want to try. That's fine. Yeah. Alright, just pull. Okay, go ahead and pull that out. I'll pull this out. Yeah, yeah. Because it, dude, it's, oh, what the heck? And, there we go. So, okay, well, there we go. We made a little bit of a mess trying to get it started here. But, uh, it's going on the thing. It's a, it looks a little bit tight, maybe. So, I've got to adjust that water wheel here. There we go. We've got it going. And then this guy on the side moves. There you go. Keep when it when it's lined up. We don't have it lined up very well. There we go. So there you go, you can see it. Uh, like I said, Banjo figured out this was a little person here that you put together. You saw it on the picture. Uh, he's sitting there cranking the water wheel, turning it around. Uh, but you'll just go ahead and let it drip all the way down through. Once it empties the cup, that's actually where this third tube comes into play. Uh, you then take and uh, plug the syringe onto this, draw the water out, uh, put it over top of your uh, second cup here when you take the end out and then let it fill up. Uh, now, they suggest taking and putting it up on top of the box that you can kind of fill it that way. Um, it just depends on where you have this and, uh, and everything. I would probably just fill up the second cup and just pour it in here. Um, just a little bit easier, but uh, like I said, they have a way that they do it as well. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't cycle all the way around where it comes back up. Um, to do that, we would actually need an actual like uh, motorized pump to uh, to get it to do that. that oh, there you go. Better. Okay, yeah, spread it out a little better. Now it's not catching, is it? No. Yeah, there you go. So, so if your guys's isn't working quite right right off the top, obviously, because it. it's gonna overflow here. Oh, is it? Maybe. Yeah, we'll stop. We'll stop if we need to. Uh, you know, just tinker with it a little bit. Uh, obviously, that's why it's called a tinker crate. Uh, you just sit here and, uh, you know, he just moved that down. That makes it move a little better. It straightens out the um, the poles there and separates stuff apart a little better so it'll move. the guy faster if you push it down too. Possible. Oh, yeah. Here. Yeah, the, there he goes. He figured out the closer it is, the faster the guy moves as well. Uh, pretty, pretty cool, guys. Pretty neat. A uh, neat little kind of water fountain type idea and uh, you know, definitely entertaining something like if you had it up on a shelf or on a desk or something like that uh, something that could be kind of just calming or whatever to uh, to sit and watch I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out of here so we don't flood over and uh, there we go so we're all filled up we can sit here we can pull it back out like I said that's what this other tube is for it does run down to uh, to the other side and uh, you want to try it? All right, well, we got it to change back around. Um, we'll go ahead and set it back up so that it can run again. I'm sure Banjo's gonna have some fun with this playing around with it. All right, guys, well, I'm gonna go ahead and call it quits for today. My name's Cougar, of course, this is my buddy Banjo over here. 
Uh, this is, of course, The World of Me and another episode from A Kiwi's Tinker Crate. If you want to check this out, you can go down there in the description below. Uh, we will have a link to that. Uh, if you guys have built some of these or can think of some different designs or something like that, any other ideas that you have, uh, go leave those down in the comments below. Also down there in the description below, we're going to have the links to our social media. Uh, you can, of course, check us out there as well as come on back up to the top and hit that thumbs up button if you like this video. Uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done that yet. Of course, there'll be a little icon there or the button down below. And don't forget to hit that bell icon. That'll notify you of when we got new videos coming out here on World of Me. All right, guys. Well, I'd like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye.